All right, welcome to lesson one. Lesson one for Soundtrap is gonna be how to log in and create a loop. All right, so in this lesson, let me just review what you're gonna get in this lesson. You're gonna learn how to log in. You're gonna learn how to collaborate or share, collaborate or share your project with your teacher. Uh, you're gonna be able to create a loop in Soundtrap. You'll select a loop of your choice. You'll learn how to extend a loop. You'll save it so your teacher can see it. So that is lesson number one. All right, let's get started. So first, what I want you to do is I want you to type in soundtrap.com in the top. And once you've typed in soundtrap.com in the top, you'll receive this website over here. You'll get on this website and you'll see it says music makers, storytellers, education. You wanna get over to where it says education. Once you click education, uh, you'll have two options. Start as a teacher, join as a student. You're gonna join as a student. All right, now once you've, once you've selected join as a student, it's gonna ask you for your invitation code. So your teacher should have given you an invitation code for the group. It's a seven digit code. So you put in the code over here. And once you put in that code, it'll say sign up with Google or sign up with email instead. So I'm gonna sign up with Google for this example. Well, I'm gonna put in soundtrapstudent.nyc. I'm gonna put in my password. and you'll notice I'm in. All right, the next step, you're gonna go to where it says Enter Studio. So Enter Studio, you click on Enter Studio. You're gonna click where it says Music, and it might show you a bunch of instructional videos. You could watch them if you want. And then you're gonna click on this part over here. It's the collaborate button. You need to invite your teacher so that way your teacher knows you've started the project. So you type in your teacher's email address, click invite, and now your teacher can see that you've started the project. The next step is you're going to go over here to the loop icon and you're gonna find a loop that you like. Let's just do drum loops for right now. So I'm gonna click on drum loops. You'll notice that you could scroll down, look at a bunch of loops, and where it says full, that's the full beat, okay? You have two options. You could double click on that, or you could click and drag it to the timeline. I'm just gonna double click, and it'll show up on my timeline. This is the timeline over here. Now notice there's a purple beam up top, and that purple beam means that everything within that purple beam is gonna be looped. So it goes back to that loop. All right, the next step is you're gonna learn how to make your loop longer. You're gonna to go to the top right corner of your loop. You'll see this little circular arrow sign. You're gonna click and drag. And now we're gonna make the beat twice as long. We're also gonna make the purple bar up top twice as long because we want it to loop the whole entire section. So you'll notice when it gets to the end of this, then it loops this whole entire section. All right, once you title it, uh, if you don't know what to title it, you could just say, my loop number one, and then click save, be sure you save it. And that is it with your project. All right, so let me review the steps of everything we just did so that you have a clear understanding of how to go about this process. Step one, log in, type in soundtrap.com. To be even more exact, you do forward slash edu. Next, click join as a student and you type in your evite code, which is a seven digit, which is a seven digit code. Step two, create a loop in Soundtrap. You click enter studio, you click music, you click on the collaborate icon or you can click share. You click plus or invite and you type in your email, teacher's email address. Step three, select a loop. You click on the loop icon, you select the loop, you double click or drag the loop onto the timeline, you press to hear the loop. And step four, make your loop longer, select the top right corner of your loop. You'll get an extended icon, then click the icon, drag it to the right, extend the purple beam above to match the length of your loop, then click on save. Short, in short, 
Log in, collaborate, share, create a loop in soundtrack, select a loop, extend a loop, save. Have fun.